Taking the wraps off of history, a NASA spacecraft has brought samples of an asteroid back to Earth. CBS News correspondent Skylar Henry has more on the four billion mile journey. Studio milestone, we have confirmed parachute deployment. In a flyby of Earth, the OSIRIS REx spacecraft released the capsule containing asteroid fragments from 63,000 miles out. The saucer shaped capsule holding possible clues about the birth of the solar system slammed into Earth's atmosphere and touched down in the Utah desert. Sunday's landing wraps up a seven year, four billion mile voyage to transport the sample from an asteroid called Bennu here to planet Earth. NASA officials spoke about the successful mission. It was pulse pounding, I'm sure for you watching it, even more for those of us in the helicopters. We were uh, with bated breath making sure that we came down for a, a nice soft landing in the Utah desert and it worked and it worked spectacularly well. The capsule holding the precious cargo was moved to a temporary clean room at the Defense Department's Utah Test and Training Range. We're hoping that we'll see organics, we'll see amino acids, the building blocks of life, as well as evidence for past water on Bennu, because all of these things are the sorts of materials that asteroids and comets delivered to the Earth when it was forming and helped life to be able to flourish. Meanwhile, the mothership, OSIRIS REx, set off after another asteroid. Because they are pristine examples of planetary building blocks, we want to study them because they're going to tell us a lot about how the Earth and all of the planets in our solar system were formed. Since the capsule was intact, it's likely the four and a half billion year old asteroid pieces were free of contamination, making them perfect specimens to study. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. See, here's my question though. They haven't opened this thing up. What happens if they open and there's nothing in there? Or there are little green men in there. Ooh, <laughs> anything could be in there. That's fascinating. It is. I would love to be a fly on the wall when they open it. Mm hmm. Except Maybe. if it's the little green men. Right, a fly so you can just zip out of there. I don't want to be one of the people opening it. I just want to be the insect on the wall. Yeah, because you never know what's going to come out of there.